Hi, I am Angela Marti Walag and I'm honored to present our paper entitled Games Bond, a game-based supplemental teaching material for ionic and covalent bonding on behalf of my co-authors. Despite being a part of every aspect of our lives, chemistry is equally criticized and appreciated. Teaching chemistry in high school should be about promoting the subject as a creative science and an intellectual endeavor. According to recent research, the passive technique may not be the best way for students to learn. Moreover, when educators create a passive learning environment, they are unable to identify the misunderstandings that students may have and correct them. Most educators teach chemistry using teacher-centered methods, and these conventional teaching methods do not work well for helping students fully comprehend abstract ideas in order to develop accurate conceptions, mitigate alternate, alternative conceptions, and encourage conceptual change. To address this problem, various studies have been conducted investigating the effectiveness of different teaching strategies in chemistry, particularly in chemical bonding. For example, jigsaw cooperative learning was utilized for chemical bonding and showed that those introduced in the intervention were more successful than those who were not. Other researchers also proposed a way of sequencing chemical bonding topics that would help students learn the concepts more effectively. Games were also used to teach chemical bonding to grade 10 French students and Indonesian high school students. Although these studies utilized games in the teaching of the topic, they focused on students' conception of chemical bonding and the validation and practicality of these games. No previous studies has found that the intervention improved academic achievement. As such, this highlights the existing gap in using game-based learning principles to design a supplementary teaching activity in chemical bonding and how it improves student learning outcomes. As such, this study aims to design and develop a board game as a supplementary teaching material based on game-based learning principles. And furthermore, this study also aims to investigate the improvement of academic achievement of high school students when exposed to the games. This research study made use of the design and development research design. The researchers designed and created a board game under the guidance of the fund of the foundations of game-based learning, which was used as a supplementary activity for students learning processes in ionic and covalent bonding. This research study also used a quasi-experimental quantitative research design to evaluate the board game. One intact class served as a control group utilizing the conventional approach as enshrined in the curriculum. The other intact class served as an experimental group where the intervention was utilized as a supplementary teaching tool. Uh, the participants were two entire classes of ninth grade junior high school students, ages 14 to 16 years old, from a nearby government-run and operated high school. The one-way ANCOVA was used to examine the effect of an independent variable on a dependent variable while removing the effect of a covariate factor, in this case, the pretest. Games Bond is a board game that consists of a board as shown in Figure 1, Elements Cards as shown in Figure 2, Question Cards and Challenge Cards, and a wheel that provides reinforcement as shown in Figure 1. So for the Element Cards, the players can use these cards to form a compound and identify its chemical bonding as shown in this figure. For the Question Cards as shown in this figure, if the player lands on the question tile on the board, they will need to answer questions that were all about the formation of ionic and covalent bonding. The question cards have varied colors corresponding to Bloom's taxonomy's cognitive domains. Pink is for remembering, light blue is for understanding, dark blue is for analysis, and green is for application. Challenge cards have two types, the compound model and the Lewis dot electron Lewis electron dot structure. Here are the salient findings. Statistical difference was noted in the pretest and post-test scores for the control and experimental group 
accounting for the covariate as indicated in Table 1. This improvement in academic achievement due to the integration may be because of the game-based learning principles integrated into the intervention. Since chemistry involves many fundamental and significant concepts, integrating cognitive and affective learning experience is critical for, lear for learning. The developed game provides students more opportunities to practice what they have learned in class in a fun and engaging way, thus engaging in direct experience of applying the concepts learned in class. In addition, immediate feedback and active participation in the game help sustain effective learning compared to passive learning in the conventional class. The game's bond board game was also evaluated in terms of four categories based on the foundations of game-based learning. These parameters scored the highest when compared among all of the game-based learning engagement. This is significant since it is widely believed that players are innately motivated by the key game design features like challenge, curiosity, imagination, that students agreed most with the statements that the game encouraged them to think critically and provide them with an engaging experience as shown in Table 2. This result is also due to the challenging tasks provided in the game, which allowed players to apply their critical thinking to solve problems. The findings demonstrated that warm colors and rounded shapes produce positive feelings which in turn improved learning, improved understanding, and transferred test outcomes. This high acceptability of the game is expected as shapes, colors, and figures utilized were carefully and meticulously selected to ensure that the game induces emotion conducive to learning. Throughout the duration of the game, the players can form strategies and techniques to win the game. Thereby, observational skills are nurtured when other players try to overthrow the leading player. When examining game-based learning via so sociocultural lens, we see that learning is viewed as socially constructed and motivated. In addition, although players play individually in the game, they are still provided opportunities to interact with each other. They can learn from one another by seeing how each of the players answer the questions forms a compound, or does the challenging task. These are also corroborated by the findings that students were able to foster conversation and build relationship with their peers while playing the game as shown in Table 4. Cognitive engagement refers to how learners engage with the game and construct mental model models of the concepts. These parameters garnered the lowest rating. However, it still falls under the highly acceptable. One criterion in particular, I find the difficulty of the game's bond appropriate to level garnered a mean score of 3.14 and a standard deviation of 1.88. This may be because some tasks embedded in the game were too challenging for the students. Moreover, game designers need to consider how to construct game dynamics that will interest players and help them acquire the desired cognitive outcomes and this highlights that the importance of putting students at the center of any game-based learning activities of mat and materials developed. In order to fully capture what the board game has to offer for teaching ionic and covalent bonding, game design and game research need to be guided by the principles of game-based learning and integrated with the perspectives from the cognitive motivational, affective, and sociocultural domains. The use of games bond in the classroom demonstrated that students improved their academic achievement in the formation of ionic and covalent bonding. The findings show that there is difference between the achievement of those who were introduced to the intervention and those who received conventional instruction. This means that the games bond board, board game has been helpful as a supplementary learning tool for learning ionic and covalent bonding. Similarly, students who evaluated the board game are expressive of the positive benefits offered by the game's bond board game. They found the board game compelling in certain aspects such as design, activities, mechanics, layout of the game, competition, challenges, and skills that player can acquire. 
This work was supported by the University of Science of and Technology of Southern Philippines. Here are our references. Thank you very much and I now welcome questions from the audience.